What's up, Brad Squad? This is Jonathan Elias here, and I'm here with the one and only Spar and Bernstein, tax attorney, the guru, Carmella Warren <laughs> herself. Hello, Listen, everyone. <laughs> hey, I'm excited to have you here. Thank you. And she has clients waiting for us. She still took time out to talk to us. That is and correct. And drop some gems. <laughs> yes, and we're going to talk about how immigrants help the American economy. One of the biggest misconceptions is that immigrants, especially undocumented immigrants, do not pay taxes to the U.S. Is this true? No. Immigrants pay their fair share of federal and state taxes. You won't be able to move forward with your immigration case if you do not address your taxes. Mm. So now, these immigrants that are paying the taxes, do they get the same benefits, like the Social Security benefits, that U.S. citizens do get? Unfortunately, no. But oh. when you do obtain your Social Security card, your monies that you earn when you had an I-10 will merge with your Social Security number. And then, real quick, I-10 is? <laughs> I-10 is a tax identification number that is used for tax filing purposes only. Okay, so now, you know my little special segment, Tax Talk with Carmella. I'm always <laughs> having to bring some statistics, so where's your handy dandy calculator? Right here. There it is. <laughs> Look how big that is. It is. There's a big old calculator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I have some statistics here from Pew Research Center on how much different immigrant demographics here in America send back money to their home countries. So now, like I always say, we have to remember this means that these immigrants are making a significant amount more because they have to still upkeep their living expenses, right, in yes. the States. Yes, yes. So these are, this is actual money that they're sending back home to their home countries. Let's start with Pakistan. Now, they sent home $1.3 billion back in 2017. So how much did the U.S. government make in taxes just off of their remittance? So, mm -hmm. so yeah. $481 million. Ooh, okay. Hong Kongese, known as Hong Kongers, had no idea that's what they were called, first of all, did you? No. Okay, well, we not. know now. <laughs> all right, now they know. sent back $132 million back in 2017. So how much did the U.S. government make just off of their remittance? According to my calculation, $48 million. Ooh, okay. Third one, people from Ivory Coast. Beautiful people, by the way. So they sent back $7 million back in 2007. How much did the U.S. government make just off of their remittance? According to my calculation, $2.6 million. Wow. A lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yes. And you wouldn't even know that you had that many people from Ivory nope. Coast here. All right, Sudanese. I love Sudan because my family was actually refugees there. <laughs> they actually sent back $3 million back in 2017. Now, how much did the U.S. government make just off of their remittance? $1.1 million. Wow. That's a lot wow, of money. That is a lot of money. Yes. Man, okay, so Greeks from Greece, they sent back $49 million. That's a lot. Yes, it is. Yeah, so how much did the U.S. government make off of that? $18 million. Man, all right. So now Barbadians. Uh-huh. From Barbados. <laughs> yes. They sent back a lot of money, and I was actually surprised about this. They sent back $63 million. Now, how much did the U.S. government make off of that? $23 million. Wow. Now, this is a big whopper. Moroccans Ooh. from Morocco. Now, they sent back home. $184 million from Morocco. So they sent it back to Morocco. How much did the U.S. government make off of them, just off of them remittance? $68 million. Wow. That's, that's an incredible amount of money. Yes, it is. All together. All together. Yeah. I want to let everybody else know, because this is Tax Talk with Carmela. Do you have any words of wisdom for anybody out there watching? Sure. I will always say that it's always important to file your taxes because it could really delay your immigration case if you do not file your taxes. You could also apply for what is called an I-10 for your spouse or also for your dependents, for your children. And lastly, if you owe money in taxes, there's a program called Offer and Compromise in which I was able to obtain successful settlements and saving a lot of people money in taxes. So I always owe money in taxes every year, yes. right? What do I say every year when every I come year. to you? I'm scared. <laughs> You're scared. <laughs> and, we, and she says every time, don't be scared, I got you. That's so right. I'm telling you, 
Like, it works, and she always has me. So I want you to give some examples of offering compromise. Yes, like, yes. I had clients, like, this actually happened last week, where I had this one client, he owed $23,000 in taxes, and it got a settlement for $2,000 in taxes. Mm. And this other one, which is very emotional for me, because they had this man, he was going through a divorce, and he had two children paying child support, and he owed $25,000 of taxes, and he got a settlement for $450. He actually cried in my office because he mm. was very emotional about it. Because yeah. I guess he couldn't believe that he was able to pay that little on this tax debt. Man. And like I said before, the IRS could be very aggressive with collections, bank levies, garnishment of wages. So you should also reach out to me to try to you know resolve any tax issues you may have. Listen. You know I love you, girl. I'm actually bringing <laughs> my taxes to her tomorrow. That is true. <laughs> this is like truth. I ain't just, you know, <laughs> joshing for y'all. No. Let everybody know how to contact you. For free consultation, y'all. That is correct. Free consultations over the phone or in person to address all your tax matters. There you have it. Well, Brad Squad, I hope you guys enjoyed this segment of Tax Talk <laughs> with Carmela. And before we leave, now, I gave you guys my countries. We like to put together all of the countries that are listed yes. and see how much they made the U.S. government in taxes just off of their remittance. And y'all know what remittance means now. What does it mean, real quick? Money that's being sent overseas. There you go. My family did that their entire life, still does it. We have to send back, you know, money to help our family and friends back home. So today we talked about Pakistan, Hong Kong, Ivory Coast, Sudan, Greece, Barbados, and Moroccans. So these are the people that we talked about today that sent money back home. Now, in 2017, how much did the U.S. government make all together off of their remittance? $30 billion. <laughs> $30 billion? Yes. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yes. And they don't even see all of the benefits that U.S. citizens would have, huh? That is correct. Man, but you still got to pay your taxes. You still got to pay your taxes, file your taxes. Thank you guys again one more time. Carmela is the guru. Y'all, please call 1-800-529-5465. You already know. You're going to get your free consultation with her. Yes. Get a consultation with our lawyers, too. And we out. Prior successful results do not guarantee a similar outcome in the future. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.